Tyrosinemia is an autonomal recessive genetic disorder uh, where a body, the liver lacks an enzyme to break down tyrosine. And in the chemical reaction that would normally make healthy proteins and amino acids, it turns into a poison. And that poison is called succinylacetone. And the body uh, rejects this poison. It turns into fluid in the abdomen. Uh, it can get uh, to the brain and cause problems. It, it ultimately will cause liver failure and then if untreated uh, go beyond into kidney failure and uh, all sorts of bad things. It's a, it's, a, it's a terrible, terrible disorder if untreated. It is 100% fatal to infants um, if not caught and treated. And the trick to tyrosinemia is early detection. It is critical that it is caught on newborn screening. A child that goes undiagnosed is running serious, serious risks to their body. Um, and uh, you, you, you cannot allow it to go undiagnosed. Um, there are treatments available. Um, for a long time, the only treatment for tyrosinemia was a liver transplant as an infant. Um, some, some people were able to wait until they were five, six years old to get a liver transplant, but it was it was not good on on their uh, on their system. Uh, in that event, you want to do it as early as possible. But about 20 years ago, uh, there, there's a drug that came on the market called NTBC, and NTBC, uh, its trade name is Orphidin, uh, stops the liver's production of that deadly chemical. Um, but unfortunately, it also stops the uh, tyrosine from breaking down at all and tyrosine is a byproduct of phenylalanine, so you, you then have to, you have to take the medicine, but you also have to restrict the diet of tyrosine and phenylalanine, which unfortunately is found in all proteins. So uh, you have to have a diet extremely low in protein, no meat, no beans, no nuts, no dairy, no, no, no anything with protein, you cannot have protein. And then the third aspect of that treatment is a specialized formula. Um, that you would drink, and it would give you all the uh, essential proteins that you're missing, but you would, uh, you'd have to take that drink, and you'd have to take the right amount of that drink, not too much, not too little, same thing with everything else. You have to have a little bit of natural protein, you can't have too much, you can't have too little. So that treatment, while is much, much safer, and is the standard of care for tyrosinemia today, um, it's a lot of work, um, because every mom who has a child with tyrosinemia has to carry uh, a gram scale. They have to weigh every piece of food that the child eats and if they give the child a bowl of cereal for example and there's 60 grams of Cheerios for example and the child takes half of them and throws them on the floor you then have to pick them up before the dog gets them and weigh them to know that there was 32 grams that went on the floor and that you have to make up the difference. And it can't be above and it can't be below. And you have to do that with every meal, 24 hours a day, for the, pers the affected person's life. It doesn't go away, it doesn't get any better. Um, it is what it is. Um, a lot of us are used to it, you know, but uh, we're all used to it. But we're happy to do it because we don't have a choice and, and without that we wouldn't have our children.